Welcome to part three of the Exploring Arkansas series. In part one, I rode my Honda Africa Twin and my friend Disturbed Herford rode his Harley Davidson to Pettyjean State Park and visited the graveside of Pettyjean. Took in the awesome views of the Arkansas River below and we visited the lake on top of the mountain. In part two, we rode to Mount Nebo State Park and saw the awesome vistas of the river valley below and watched hang gliders at the Mount Nebo Visitor Center. We then descended the mountain, riding through numerous sharp switchback curves. In this video, we eat lunch at the Old South Restaurant in Russellville, Arkansas. We then travel to the Old Potts Inn, once a stagecoach stop on the Butterfield Trail. We then ride our bikes to Cardin Settlement Park. We finally visit Lake Conway before heading home. On our way home, the mount for my camera fails and I almost lose this expensive piece of equipment. Tune in at the end of the video to witness this.
The Potts Inn, located in Pottsville, Arkansas, was built in 1858 by Kirkbride Potts from Pennsylvania. The Potts family lived in the home until the 1970s when it was sold to the town of Pottsville and converted into a museum. The Potts Inn served as a stagecoach station on the Butterfield Overland Route between Memphis and Fort Smith and was the only scheduled stop between the two cities. Guests of the stage, as well as other travelers, stopped at the inn. The family prepared meals, and clean beds for overnight stays. Horses and carriages were tended to in the barn. According to the museum's website, a bath was prepared in the kitchen. Water was heated on the stove and poured into a large tub. The first guest would pay the most, and then each guest thereafter would pay a little less. The last person to bathe was responsible for throwing out the dirty bath water. I've included some pictures so you can pause in the video if you want to read more on this interesting place. Cardon Settlement Park is located just outside of Conway, Arkansas and sits on the banks of the Arkansas River. Cardon was one of the first settlements in central Arkansas. A blockhouse was built to serve as a residence, tavern, and trading post. The blockhouse that you see today is a reproduction.
bigger. That's gonna stop her anyway.